Continuing with more awesome 2021 television news, Samsung has announced that their brand new QLED lines will all be basically using your ambient light to adjust the dynamic HDR10+. Plus. That is incredible because what this means for you is that whether it's in a bright or dark room, your television is going to be at its most optimized point when you're using the automatic features. And this is perfect for everyday end users that don't have professional calibration experience or even enthusiast level experience. Regardless of your experience, basically, you can now see appropriately adjusted HDR as far as your brightness levels, which plays a big role in your highlights and things being overly bright or overly dark. And now you can kind of nix that argument of what's accurate and what's supposed to be calibrated a, a correct way. Now you can just have the TV do all that stuff for you to the best of its abilities. And I think this is awesome because if you recall, Samsung is a part of the UHD Alliance and they're also a part of the HGIG, which means that all of these best practices for HDR will play a role into how they implement this particular ambient light technology. And you can only imagine it could be a very big benefit if done exactly as suggested. So while again, it's not game changing, shattering, earth shaking news, but at the same time, it's also really exciting because this is what I was talking about when I said wait till 2021 when they introduce actual new things instead of just rewrapping the old things in a fresh coat of paint. And this is exactly why I am so excited for 2021. We've got LG going with their QNED displays and now Samsung announcing ambient light adjustments for HDR10+, plus. I mean, that's incredible. Now, unfortunately, Samsung wasn't smart enough to do the ultimate power play and announce this for Dolby Vision, because, I mean, that's been Samsung's biggest weakness so far. Everybody's hung up over it, and if they would just announce Dolby Vision already, it, I think it would end a lot of the woes that they've been running into. But again, that's just the way Samsung gets down, I guess. I don't know. Now, on a personal note, I don't think it's a big deal if they don't have Dolby Vision in their new displays because I've seen Dolby Vision on LG OLED, Sony OLED, and other TVs. It's really not that impressive. Blacks can be raised from time to time, meaning they're gray. You have colors that are way more washed out than even the regular HDR10 because it's just not the time to be using something like Dolby Vision without the proper adaptation of the correct displays and the a correct level of peak brightness and right now they just haven't figured it out hdr still is standardless even going into 2021 so that it's been many years now and they still haven't standardized it so i think it's a joke at this point that people are excited and even buying tvs for Do dolby vision and even hdr in general and that's just a personal feeling and opinion but i mean either way you look at it it is cool to see them try to refine hdr further with ambient light based technology and i think that is the most exciting thing if done correctly it could eliminate the need to worry about what brightness level your room is at because typically you'd have to do calibrations whether it's on a bright room or a dark room and just kind of take readings based off of your ambient lighting and create a picture profile around that at the professional level and it, to, to eliminate that and to allow the end user to basically experience a, a properly exposed display like that is everything for a consumer and so yeah i'm really hype about that part of it and i want to see what you guys think do you think this will be cool or do you think it'll just play out to be like their AI mode that they have right now where it promises so much and then under delivers and really most people just turn it off anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, subscribe, be a part of the journey. And again, till next time, I'll see you guys later.